a new development in a story we've been following. How the state plans to spend its COVID relief money from the government. State lawmakers have finally agreed on a plan. WBZ's Lisa Hughes is here in studio with a look at what made the cut. Lisa? Opala finally is the operative word. This took months. It is a $4 billion bill. One of the provisions is a bonus program for people who worked in person all the way through the pandemic. They could get bonuses of up to $2,000. Those checks could go to grocery store workers, teachers, health care workers. The state right now is setting up a panel to review candidates, and there will be income limits. Lawmakers also agreed to spend $20 million to help set up new care centers and services for veterans, $15 million for a program that will help the homeless, and money for food pantries all over the state. But as John Keller showed us earlier this week, there is a lot of money going to programs and projects that have nothing to do with COVID. The final package includes $200,000 for a soccer field in Hanson, $85,000 for a Chamber of Commerce website in Brookline, and $5 million for the Edward Kennedy Institute for the U.S. Senate. The House has already approved this plan, and Anaritis, the Senate, will probably vote on it tomorrow. Lisa Hughes, live in the studio. Thank you for the update. 